day to you viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Prime Secretary for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. And today we've got a real Christmas treat for you. Columbia DB658, Christmas Day in the Cookhouse. Humorous monologue by Billy Bennett, the author. Now my mother used to know a version of this. Unfortunately, I didn't record it while she was alive. And I'm sure it's not one that would have been recorded. Not that she'd have used inappropriate language, I hasten to add. Here we go. Recitation. It was Christmas Day in the cookhouse and the place was clean and tidy. The soldiers were eating their pancakes. I'm a liar, that was Good Friday. In the oven a turkey was sizzling and to make it look posh, I suppose, they fetched the battalion barber to shingle its parson's nose. Potatoes were cooked in their jackets and carrots in pants, how unique. A sheep's head was baked with the eyes in because it had to see them through the week. Not so funny, but clean. <laughs> At one o'clock, dinner up sounded. The sight made an old soldier blush. They were dishing out four ale for nothing, and 15 got killed in the crush. A jazz band was playing in the mess room, a fine lot of messes it's true. We told them to go and play Ludo, and they all answered fish cakes to you, or words to that effect. In came the old sergeant major, He'd walked all the way from his billet. His toes were turned in, his chest was turned out, and his head back in case he would spill it. He wished all the troops Merry Christmas, including the poor orderly man. Some said, good old Sergeant Major, and others said, thank very Ann. When up spoke one ancient warrior, his whiskers were nest for the sparrows. The old man had first joined the army when the troops used to use bows and arrows. His grey eyes were flashing with anger. He threw down his pudding and cursed. You dare to wish me a happy new year? Well, just hear my story first. Ten years ago, as the crow flies, I came here with my darling bride. It was Christmas Day in the waxworks, so it must be the same outside. We asked for some bread we were starving. You gave us peace pudding and pork. My poor wife was in the infirmary, with a pain in her bell of New York. You're the man that stopped bacon from shrinking by making the cook fry with lux. And you wound up the cuckoo clock backwards and now it goes ooh for it cooks. So thank you and bless you and blow you. You just take these curses from me. May your wife give you nothing for dinner and then warm it up for your tea. Whatever you eat, may it always repeat be it soup, fish, entrees, or horse duvers. May blue bottles and flies descend from the skies and use your bald head for maneuvers. May the patent expire on your evening dress shoes. May your master waves all come uncurled. May your flannel shirt shrink up the back of your neck and expose your deceit to the world. And now that I've told you my story, I'll walk to the clink by the gate. And as for your old Christmas pudding, stick that on the next fella's plate. And that's all there is of that. Well, there we are, viewers. <laughs> Those jokes are really old, but they are, most, for the most part, quite funny. Thank you, viewers, and goodbye.